Okay, here's another example of a linear approximation. We're told to find the cubed root of 24 without using a calculator. So I'm going to think of my function f of x as the cubed root function, the cubed root of x. Or I could write that as x to the one-third. And if you get a visual picture here, the cubed root function looks something like this. Um, it actually goes like that, but we're only concerned with the the first quadrant here. And we want to find the cubed root of 24. Well, that's hard to find. But the cubed root of 27 is pretty easy to find. The cubed root of 27 is just 3. And we know that. And then this graph is also pretty straight here. So if we were to find a tangent line at this graph, then over here at 24, I would expect the tangent line to be pretty close to the graph itself because the the curve the graph of the cube root function isn't curving sharply just moving three units to the left I wouldn't expect the curve to deviate too much from the tangent line and exactly whether or not your linear approximation will be a good approximation or not is kind of a judgment call and um, and is dependent somewhat on how good of a, an approximation you need in a particular situation but let's do the uh, uh, linear approximation here. I'm going to call x0, that's my known value, the value at which I know f of x. So x0 is 27. And f of x0 is just the cubed root of 27, which is just 3. Now let's find the derivative. f primed of x, we're going to take the derivative of this function. So that's going to be 1 third times x and we reduce our exponent by 1, so it's 1 third x to the negative 2 thirds, which could be written like this, 1 over 3 times the cubed root of x squared. Or actually, I'm going to write it like this, 3 times the cubed root of x squared. It would be a little bit easier to think about that way. And then f prime of 27, which is the slope right here that I've drawn in red, the slope of this segment in red, f prime of 27 is going to be 1 over 3 times the cube root of 27 squared. And you can figure that out. The cube root of 27 is 3. And then 3 squared is 9, and 3 times 9 is 27. So this is 1 over 27. So that's the slope at this point. So now let's do the linear approximation. f of x is going to approximately equal f of x0 plus f prime of x0 times x minus x0. And that's going to be 24, that's my x value that I'm looking for, minus 27. And so let's put in the numbers here. This is f of x0 is 3 plus f prime of x0, that's 1 27th, times x minus x0, which is negative 3. And notice we haven't used a calculator at all, and we've, we've got a number here that's going to be pretty easy to work with. This is going to be 3 minus 1 ninth, or 2 and 8 ninths, and you might know that that's about 2.88 9. And let's pull up the calculator and check that. We're going to calculate the cubed root of 24. So I'll calculate 24 to the power of 1 third, and I'll put this in parentheses. So 24 to the power of 1 divided by 3. And we're hoping to get something close to 2.889. And there are 2.884. So we're accurate to three digits, or to two decimal places, using the linear approximation in this particular case.